Rocks 321 here back with another video. Welcome back to the channel if you are a subscriber. And if you are new to the channel, please hit that like button and subscribe. I bring you model rockets, I build and I launch rockets, and I show you some other some catalogs and things like that once in a while. But today we're going to talk about the Saturn V. I recently finished building the SD Saturn V, but today I want to show you this kit right here that recently fell into my lap. Shout out and thanks to my friend. Um, he gave me this kit. It used to be his father's that passed away. Um, and he gave me this kit. It used to be his. My friend's not, he don't launch rockets like that or anything. He does my photography on my YouTube, on my uh, Instagram account. And he gave me this cutaway model of the Saturn V. It's by 4D Vision. Um, it's a great, great kit. I mean, I don't have a lot of static models because I like models to do something, but this... I don't mind owning this. I definitely um, appreciate having this one um, from the late Mr. Roger Cozy. May he rest in peace. He was a rocket guy. He has all kind of had all kind of rockets. So, but I've just been taking a look at this kit, just looking at the detailing on it, and this is amazing. Look at that, like detail, like scale, and the fuel tanks, the combustion chamber, and the fuel tank. Just so cool. Like I wish you guys can see in the top. I may have to back up here a little bit. And you can see in the top there, the top of the fuel tank, um, just a great, great rocket. Um, really detailed. One thing I did notice was um, a little misting from their masking. Like, this is a professionally built kit, but here you can see where a little mask got it got away a little bit. Like, right there, I don't know if you can see, but a little bit of it got away. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm pretty sure the real one had some underspray. But, yeah, just a great, great model with those cutaways you can see some of the detailings on the um, f1 engine and they even cut away here on this little fin um shroud piece right here so they just made it um clear so you can see like some of the um engine from under there but yeah very cool very cool so this is the first stage and then you have the second stage those are the four f1 engine and i'm learning things already the, um, these five engines are i have my rockets of the world book out right here these are by north american this, these are the second stage engines. The first ones were by Boeing. So the first five F1 entities were Boeing. Then these were by North America. North American. These are the S2 engines, the second stage. So different people. I already knew that many of you also know that many companies um, contributed to, to the Apollo missions. Um, you know, a lot of contractors and subcontractors and lots of money. So for that time period anyway and then for now i'm pretty sure it'd be in the billions if it wasn't in the billions back then but yeah just a great like i said the detailing on this is superb and you can see like i said the combustion chain of the fuel tank and you can see where these five other small smaller engines look at the comparison look how much larger the f1s were compared to the second stage so this piece would fall back then it would continue on but the you know first stage would be up top so this would be the second stage um, just so cool details to check out more of the detailing. I've got mine pretty, mine's right here. My um, SD's version sitting right next to me. Um, pretty good. I got it pretty, pretty accurate, pretty accurate. And this is really, like I said, really nice detailing. So now we're going to move to the next stage. Um, so you have the first and the second. In the end, I'm going to put it all together so you guys can see it all. Then we're going to move up to the, the final stage right here. Here we go. So this is the part that we, but once all that falls back, this final engine right here will be sending the payload and the astronauts forward. Look at that detailing. Again, this is cut away so you can see the lunar module in there. Look at that. And it comes apart. I'm going to show you guys that. And the guidance, from what I understand, the guidance, uh, the guidance section was in this portion here also. This is where the guidance was. And you can see that engine. And that engine was, look at the third stage engine. Let me see, it was a McDonnell Douglas S1VB stage powered by a single J1 attached to the top of the cylindrical, yep. Uh, BM, yep, so this is a, yeah, the, that was a McDonnell Douglas. Like I said, everybody contributed to this project. Many people contribute, many companies rather. Yep, so this would continue on and then you get that staging. So this comes apart, so I'm gonna show you guys this. Um, this piece comes off. And look at this. Check this out right here. Let me see if I can get. Yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna lay this down. This guy wants to come apart. I'll show you this lunar module. So check out that right there. That's all one. It's actually missing a piece that holds. I'm gonna see if my friend can find it. Um, it's missing that piece that holds it. The model down below. It's missing this piece that goes right here. That's what holds this together. 
So for right now, I'm just going to, I've been, you know, just being careful with it. But you can see more detailing there on the nozzle and everything. So yeah, this comes off and then you got this. Get the command module with its RCSs and check that out. More detailing up top. More detailing. So pretty nice, pretty nice. So I want to set this aside right there and move to this. All right, now here's where it gets cool. So here you have this, these kind of open up. Actually, this piece comes off. This whole section comes off. I'll just take it off and make it make life a lot easier. So this comes off. These kind of open a little. That's this module right here. So these have, they can open. I'm not sure how far they go. I don't want to go too far. I don't want to break it. But you can see the little clear section so you can see. So they kind of open so you can fit stuff back in there. Move some things back. So you guys can see those. And then here you have this lunar module, um, which is nice. It's in its fold, folded leg position. And you can see this set right on top of here. Just great, man. Just great. Nice detailing on this. Very cool. The legs don't fold. I haven't tried. No, they don't fold. I'm sure they don't. I'm not going to mess with them. I can see some things are out of place a little. But yeah, it's had to do what they had to do to get it built. But yeah, really cool. Really nice. Really nice. So detailed, too. I'm just amazed by the detail. They pulled off some good stuff with this one. This is really nice. There's one broken piece I noticed that was just inside there. It's these right here. These kind of like satellite dishes. These would go, where'd they go? I saw where they would attach. Um, not on here, where'd they go, where'd they go? Was it on here? Yes, uh, no, yes, yes, they would go right here. This goes here. So I can probably glue that back on. So I'm gonna get that glued on, it would fit, it would still fit down in there, um, part of the command module. But overall, a great model, super detailed. You can see all the all the detailing here, like even this piece. It's so funny, like this don't have a lot of the detailing, but the Estes one, my Estes one has more detailing. It's so funny. But that sits on top of there. But a great model. I'm gonna put this all together. Like I said, you can see down inside these windows. Let's take a look at some of the detailing there. Super great model. All that detailing. The color's really nice. And this gives me an idea for my, especially the F1 engines. I'm going to color mine like that because they're super bright, shiny right now, mine. But I'm going to go, I'm going to look at some of this and just borrow some from my display nozzles. I'm going to um, use some of their technique. Like they toned down that silver, which I had planned on doing anyway. So that makes me want to get to that even sooner. So now to put this all back together, it has a base has this massive base right here. I'm gonna show you guys this. Let me get this, let me get Rock into the World book out of the way. So yes, it has this base right here. And even on the base, it says, um, it has the name of it. It says 4D Vision Vehicles Cutaway Model Saturn V Rocket. How cool is that right there? It's kind of dusty, but I'll clean it up. But for right now, I'm gonna um, put it all back together and show you how it looks in all its glory. So this sits here. And we'll, um, how can I do this so you guys can see? So yeah, that's um, Saturn V on its base so far. We're gonna continue put this whole thing back together. So this section First stage, then you got your second stage goes here. Put that guy right in there. He kind of snaps, like you see it kind of lines up. Yep, goes in really nice. All plastic, heavy duty, built well. I mean, built great actually. I cannot, no complaints about it. I mean, in comparison to the one I did there, you know, it's a good, good solid build. I mean, mine, even mine, I think I did a, did a good job and they did a good job on this one. Like really nice. So we're gonna move to the next stage this part right here and get this put together so the lunar module goes inside sorry if I'm off to the side and you don't see but I'm trying to get this back together really perfectly and then that way we can proceed so yeah get this guy in here I'll back this up I can back up a little
back up like that. Here we go. So as you can see, lunar modules inside. For the third stage, put that together like that. Command module. There's little notches too. You can tell where things go by the notches. Command module goes on top. If I can find that notch. Let me sit it down. You want to be careful because this thing's kind of. It's made well, but you still want to take your time and try to get it in there. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be off camera for a second. I'm just trying to get this right. There we go. All right, so there we have that. So I was just working on that right there, getting the command module in. So you got that in. Then the next part is the top of the capsule that goes there. Like I said, it's missing that piece that holds that on. I forget what it's called. I don't know if it's some kind of latch or something, but that's the only piece that's missing. That piece and then other than this getting glued, those are the pieces that, um, that are missing for right now. I'm gonna try to see if he can, he can find it for me. And so there you have it. So they were blasting off just in this section right here, heading toward the moon to get in that right orbit trajectory. I plead this would fall back eventually. They had just that section there, and that once they knew they were safe, that whole retro rocket that would um that would fall off. Not retro, but you know what I mean. I forget the name of it, but that would fall off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy on here for the final section, and that goes on there. Uh oh, so that capsule top piece fell off. So, yeah, that's because it don't have that latch. It fell because it don't have the latch. Yeah, let me grab that really quick. That's just this section fell off, and this this little the rocket comes it comes apart too. You can even put this this goes back on. It has little holes. Get this in here. Be sure to visit the Model Rockets Three Two One Space Shop for logo tees, mugs, and other space related merchandise. Yeah, once it's on, it's huge. It's about the same. It's one one hundred scale. Got to mention that. Yeah, it's one one hundred scale. So it's the same scale as the one I just built, the ESD's version. So this is the whole model. Really cool. Couldn't be more happier to have this like as a static model because you can see the in the insides of it. You know. So I'm getting a little new respect for a static model. I don't have, like I said, I don't have many. Just that little plastic Saturn V I just had in the scene earlier but this is a really cool one man um it just came right on time you know it kind of fell in, like i said it fell in my lap a friend of mine saw he saw my posts for the saturn i just found hey you want that one I'm like, yeah sure <laughs> sure i can't turn down the the mighty saturn you can see the engines in there fuel tank the other engine it's real cool this is you know this is like this is great you know really great one great one Command module in all its glory. So yeah, everybody, this is um Model Rocks 321. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check the links, support the channel any way you can. When you guys come around, support the channel. Got the shop there, STEM education books for children. I'm my affiliate. So support the channel. If all else fails, hit that like button. Drop a comment below what you guys think about this model. You can see the United States logo right there well yeah u.s flag rcs nozzles all right guys model rocks three two one catch you on another video